How do you look sort of pap ready all the time? Do you never have a bad hair day? All the time, please. <laughs> it kind of robs the fact that you can just be. Right. You can just like, whenever I did a song, I did it on my own accord. Nobody. Right. I never did it under any duress. You were I, comfortable. I was comfortable. Yeah. If I felt I was not okay with something, I'd voice my opinion. Right. I'd say, no, I don't like this step or I don't have that. And I, if I felt if I was being objectified in any way, I'd say it and I'm, I'm not really? stupid. I, Even I would back tell, then, you yeah, would tell I would them? Say it. Yeah, I'm not comfortable. Because yeah. I always had a problem with it being called items. Or because I imagine somebody turning around and telling me, what item hai? I would want to turn around and slap that sure. person. So I do have a problem with, with the terminology. And acting was never your thing? No. No, it was too demanding, too time consuming. Are you enjoying being single? I feel really happy and proud of, of my decision. Irrespective of whatever everybody said around me. And we do have to address the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, the rumor of the <laughs> impending church marriage with Arjun. Oh God, oh, God. <laughs> oh God, oh God, please. Malaika, welcome to Film Companion. Uh, I mm. realized that in all the time that we've known each other, I've never actually mm. sat down and talked to you. That's right. So we just had these very bizarre conversations, very like <laughs> brief conversations. Yeah. We never really had an in-depth conversation. Yeah, yeah. So very happy that you could make the time for this. I'm very glad that I could be here <laughs> finally. You know, I think of you, Malaika, as a fascinating modern day celebrity brand. Okay, you are of course. Yeah, <laughs> I no. Know it, I, I really do because you know I was just thinking about all that you do. So you're obviously a part of Bollywood, but you're not an actor. Um, you're a iconic dancer. You are a very in-demand reality show judge. Uh, you are the face of a very successful retail brand, Label Life. You are an entrepreneur with your own yoga studio, and you're a massive Instagram star with what, 8 million people following you? How did all of this happen? Is there any strategy or has it just fallen into place? The one thing I can boast of, I can say that there is no strategy. Really? I'm somebody without a strategy. I think I'm pretty organic in my ways, in the way I deal with life and whatever is thrown at me or comes my way. So yeah, I think I've just kind of gone along the way, kind of learned along the way and, and let things happen along the way. I think somebody like me, if I have to sit down and strategize, I think I'll be a mess. I think that's when my life will completely fall apart. So I just let it, I let it happen. Yes, You let course, things come. I just let it happen. I let it, like I said, it should happen organically. Of course, I have been in the business long enough. Yeah. I think I'm one of those few who's actually probably survived Absolutely. really long and, yeah. you know, was married, child, this, that. So I think I've, I've pretty much survived pretty long uh, for any woman in the, in, in in the, the business. business. Yeah. And how I've kind of dealt with, with the way things have progressed. I've not given it too much thought. I've just said, work hard and you know the dividends shall shall come by that's how i've looked at it you make it sound easy that's, no i don't <laughs> no i think that, that's just a way of of the way i function there is a right. probably some sort of method to my madness but that's how i function so you know the paparazzi culture which is very new in india uh, uh, is an integral part of this brand building um, and you're papped all the time like i feel like i know you know your lunch dates how often you go to the gym. I feel like there's a whole section of, of journalists only devoted to dissecting <laughs> your gym looks. <laughs> now, is that something you've made peace with? Do you, do you see that, okay, this is part of what I do and I'm okay to be followed all day long? Yeah, I think that's pretty much how I look at it. Yes, no, I, I kind of lost that thing where I can actually say, uh, oh, I was not here, oh, I was not there because there's no chance of... of they know to, where you are. They know exactly, so I can't have that liberty anymore. And it is every day. It is, yeah, but I think they're doing their job. Right. And uh, with, in today's day and age where social media plays such a yeah. huge part, it is so integral in our in our work. In fact, I can't remember the last time somebody shot for an ad, so to speak, which is purely for for the television medium. Yeah. Nobody, no, no, no. everybody does it yeah. now for social media. So I think it's just kind of taken over. Where these guys are concerned, I think that it's also new to our, to our uh, business. But I think uh, I have no complaints. I mean, as long as nobody steps on my foot, nobody bothers me. If they're respectful, I'm fine with it. And how do you look sort of pap ready all the time? Do you never have a bad hair day? <laughs> all the time, please. <laughs> I think if you see most of my pictures, my hair is tied up in a in a, but you in know a, in a crazy there. bun. But I, I'm like, okay, because I'm always having a bad no. But I guess, uh, I guess, yeah, somewhere it kind of it kind of robs the fact that you can just be. Right. You can just like. Do you, do you think a little about, okay, I should wear this because I know they're going to take pictures? I'm a little more careful about it. I'm a little right. more aware of it because I know the minute I'm going to just be, then I'm no, I know I'm going to get trolled for it or I'm going to yeah. be. 
abused for it or whatever it may be. So yes, I do make that little extra effort. It's not some huge step that I t- you know, mm. take out time in my life. No, I got to make sure that my hair is correct or whatever. No, I think I just make that little extra effort to probably run the comb through my hair. A l- an extra time, that's about it. Yeah. So we, of course, Malaka got to discover you, what, more than 20 years ago. You were dancing on top of that train. That song has not dated a bit. And since then, you've been part of many sort of blockbuster songs. You know, Munni Badnam Hui and Anarkali and all of this. But now, we live in a post-item song world. Yeah. Um, and you have filmmakers like Karan Johar saying that I would not do a Chikni Chameli. And I know you've said that I was very comfortable uh, and, you know, I did it out of choice. But what do you think is the place of the item song in today's world? See, I still stand by what I say because that's how I look at things. Because, like I said, whenever I did a song, I did it on my own accord. Nobody, right. I never did it under any duress. You were I, comfortable. I was comfortable. Yeah. If I felt I was not okay with something, I'd voice my opinion. Right. I'd say, no, I don't like this step or I don't have that. And I, if I felt if I was being objectified in any way, I'd say it and I'm, I'm not really? stupid. I, Even I would back tell, then, you yeah, would tell I would them? say it. Yeah, I'm not comfortable. Suddenly, if I felt a camera angle was going down my mm. my cleavage, I would say, I'd say, what the hell are you doing? My, You know, you can yeah. shoot it this way. You don't have to put the camera down my mm. my. Did uh, people cleavage. listen? And they did. I think it's how you kind of uh, tackle things. And right. I think I've been very, very, very clear. Yes, there were lyrics that were probably suggestive, but I'm not stupid. I heard the lyrics. Mm. I was part of it. So I was well aware of of what the whole is. And most of them have always been tongue in cheek and fun and you right. know, I've always, I don't ever, I don't ever felt that it kind of crossed that line where it was downright vulgar or downright uh, offensive. Yeah. It was, according to me, they were always in a nice fun tongue in cheek sort of space. Mm-hmm. Now coming to today, I think, yes, things have changed a lot. There's a lot more, uh, you know, emphasis and focus on, on women being being objectified so yes and I think a lot of uh, filmmakers a lot of actresses have taken that stand where they said you know what let's not have any more of 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 these songs I come from a different school of thought each to their own if you feel yes there is a certain there is a definitely a a a space where it needs to be completely phased out so be it but I think if like I said if it if you have the voice and you're able to tackle things in the right space with a little uh, brains about things a little sense about things be intelligent about things I think everything can be can be perceived in the in the right space but having said that yes in today's day and age if a woman feels that it's not a safe environment or she's being objectified or it's just downright offensive then I think I think not but you haven't made any rules for yourself about wanting to or not wanting to you're going to see take it as a comes. yes I mean I'm not going to stand over here and say you know what ban all these songs and mm. stop with the uh, with the uh, so-called uh, item songs as they because yeah. I always had a problem with it being called item songs because I to imagine somebody turning around and telling me what yeah, item hai. right I would want to turn around and slap that sure. person so I do have a problem with the terminology mm. over there but I'm not going to stand and say, you know what, stop it and completely, you know, get rid of it. At the end of the day, our films are all about that culture. There is yeah. a certain song and dance that's been there from time immemorial. Why should one just change it overnight? Yes, if something is not right in terms of it being offensive, then do away with it. But this yeah. is part of our of our film. This is what makes our films. This is what makes it different and, and stands out from the rest of the films that are made around the world. Yeah, it so, is unique. It is unique. So yeah. why should we why should we suddenly pull the plug on it just because, you know, there's a certain, uh, you know, wave of, of thinking or a certain thought process that is there. So that's how I pretty much... Yeah, I mean, I, you know, if you didn't have Chaya Chaya, I think life would be less colourful. <laughs> I would no. probably be a chef somewhere, you know. I'd probably really? be that, yeah. Is, is that what or you I'd wanted to do? probably be working you know, as a teacher with kids, because I think that's something I've always enjoyed really? doing. Yeah, so probably this would never have been there for me. I would be very happy running a kitchen somewhere yeah. or working in a school. So, yeah. But, you know, it's amazing uh, to hear you say that you did speak up even back then. And 20 years ago, I know I was still, I was a reporter and, and the film industry was a very different place. But the fact that you could voice your discomfort and that people listened is pretty impressive. I think that's probably because of the environment that I've grown up. In. And, you know, my mom always said that no, you know, good touch from bad touch or if somebody, right. you know, she always said that to us. I mean, that was something that goes without saying. If if I felt I was being violated or if I felt somebody was being offensive, I would I would say it even without batting an, an eyelid. I wouldn't, 
I wouldn't uh, have this feeling, you know, no, if I say it, somebody would, you know, take it in the wrong way. They probably, you know, um, chuck me out or they, you know, look at me differently. I'm like, no, I, I'm not comfortable with that. I, if I want the length of my skirt here, I want the length of the skirt there. That's my prerogative. Right. I'm not going to let somebody dictate and tell me, oh, no, you know, take it up three inches or yeah. pull it down. You never worried that you wouldn't get more songs? No, I, that was never, ever the thing. If I had to say, tell somebody I don't like, I don't like your setup, I don't feel comfortable working with you, I would say it. And I think mm -hmm. I've done that enough number right. of times in my in my workspace, but I've turned around purely because I felt somebody was downright Just creepy. creepy and yeah. I felt I didn't feel and and probably they've turned around and said, you know what, you're making a huge mistake. So I said, so be it, I don't care. This mm. is these are the way this is the way I've been brought up and this is what I will stand by and that's how I will I will be. And acting was never your thing? No. No, it was too demanding, too time consuming. Huh. It was, uh, and I don't know, somehow, no. I, no, it was never really my, my, my scene. You just love to dance? I just love to dance. And I've been doing that since I was a little kid, you know, right. since I was, what, four years old. So that was just part and parcel of me growing up and no acting never, ever, uh, you know, interested me or this. I would do the little bit here and there, whether it was required in, a, in an ad or a, right. or a commercial, whatever, in, in that space. But a full-fledged film, I said, oh God, no. It just kind of, it just scared the, the living daylights out of me somehow. I just felt that, you know, being stuck on a set with, you know, so many people who I didn't know, yeah. who I was, you know, not, and I'm not a very people's person. It takes me a lot of time. And you require to have those skills when yeah, you're on a, yeah. on a film set. So. I said it this is, is certain, work. it is it is at the end of the day. I yeah. said this is really not my area of this. I said I'm I think I'm cut out for other things, not this for sure. You know, I was watching some of the songs uh, um, to prep for the interview and, and you seem so comfortable and you seem like you're having such a good time. And I felt and tell me if this is a correct assessment that you're somebody who's very comfortable being seen as sexy. Is that correct? Yeah. i I think I've never shied away from it. I've pretty yeah. much worn my so-called sex symbol tag on my sleeve and like I've always said, I'd rather be known as sexy than be known as peaky, you know? Right. I mean, who wants to have a peaky dal? I think everybody prefers a <laughs> tadke wala dal. So I've always said that huh. and I've not, uh, I've never shied away from it. I've never felt awkward, I've never, you know, never felt weird about my body, never felt, you know, any of that. Right, so, right. Whatever, I mean, my choices of what I want to wear, how I project myself, it's, I've always been comfortable in my skin. So, yeah. And if I was called sexy or if I was portrayed, as, but having said that, I've also done a lot of stuff which is not, sure, which has not been the, the so-called sexy yeah. tag to it, which mm. has just been, you know, girl next door or whatever, moving on or, you know, it's a transition. Of course, what I was 20 years back and what I am today, Besides being called sexy, I think, but I've also, you know, changed. There's a lot of transition that's happened in my life. Maybe some of the choices I made back then, I may not, sure. I may not may, make them now. Yeah. The, probably the way I was earlier, maybe a little reckless. I'm not like that now. So sure. those are, I think that those are the changes that come with with age and experience, etc. But uh, being sexy or being body confident, that's 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 never been an issue. That's never been an issue. <laughs> Speaking of change. Um, I saw this on your Instagram, the 20 year <laughs> challenge. Okay, what is the change? I mean, 1998, 2018, I don't see any change in these two women. <clears throat> I mean, I'm assuming you took a mental change maybe, only. Maybe, oh, maybe then I wore less makeup and now more makeup. <laughs> That's the only difference. It's amazing. Because this I remember Mani Rattam said, remove all your makeup and now they say, slap on the makeup. And that's, <laughs> that's, the, only that's the only thing. I don't know, I kind of, it feels good actually when, you know, somebody points that out. I, I think maybe I'm doing something right. Yeah. Whatever it is, there's yeah, some, yeah. something that I'm doing right, which is working for me. So Which is lovely. Yeah, so I'm not going to mess with that, uh, <laughs> with that <laughs> no, formula. No. I'm going to stick with that. Your son is what, 16? He's 16, yes. So I was just thinking that, that you know, Look at you. Does this make it hard for him? I mean, I, I was just thinking you're a 16 year old boy. Are his girlfriends intimidated when they meet you? Well, that's what everybody says around me. I, I'm sure I think are. I'm the coolest mom on earth. <laughs> I think that. But everybody says, you know, those poor girls, yeah. you know, they feel a little. I said, I don't think so. I meet them really fine. They come hang with me, huh. all his friends. So in my head, I'm the coolest. But I think he's a really cool kid, you know. Right. He, he's not one of those two. Uh, you know, feel weird or like, but the, the normal growing up issues are there. But I guess he, he's somewhere kind of, uh, 
he lets me be. Mm. You know, he says this is what my mom's all about, and you know, he's kind of he's, he's proud cool with it. it. He's proud of it. So yeah. I guess that's which fine. is lovely. Yeah, I've never ever heard him say like, "What is this? Why?" I've never ever heard him ever, and, I'm, and I think kids are pretty yeah, yeah, they're very vocal. vocal. You know, yeah, yeah. They say it if there's Absolutely. something on the, on his mind or if he feels not, but never. I think he's been very he's been very easy about the whole transition from little to grown up to mm. actually being aware of what's right. going on around him. He's been pretty okay about it. Does he compete with you for Instagram followers? No. Or is it there's no competition there? No, no, You've no. just and I think he's a little um, He's social media shy? Very. He's like, oh, I don't like it. Just huh. keep me away. Tell them not to, you know. So that that's the only only thing. Huh. And I think right now he's in that in that phase I think he's He's only noticing pretty women around, or or women around, so to speak. Let's not be this <laughs> women around and girls around. I think he's in that space. He doesn't care about anything else. So you had said on Karina's radio show that uh, divorce gives women a sense of freedom. Are you enjoying being single? Divorce definitely is a huge step, and I think um, it definitely gave me a sense of of freedom, and purely because a sense of freedom, because a sense of being able to make a choice in life. A choice which is not very probably applauded by too many people. Everybody looks down and says, you know, why the hell are you doing it? What's wrong with you? You know, think about the consequences, right. etc., etc. So for me, I think that's the most important uh, thing that I could make a choice which, which I stand by. Mm. It was not under any duress or whatever. And I stand by my thing. So yes, I'm happy about the fact that it does give you that freedom mm. to move on, to make new choices, to make new decisions, to to go out in the world with your he head held high without having to feel this this past baggage that was that yeah. was there so yes there is a sense of of freedom over there and uh, well i guess everybody eventually wants to be probably in a relationship or move on or you know find love again everybody wants that i mean sure. nobody at the, wants to say you know what no i post this i just want to be alone and single for the rest of my life very few people will probably yeah. probably say that so i guess that is the only challenging part of having to move from one to the you know to another phase in in your life but I think I'm. I feel really happy and proud of of my decision, irrespective of whatever everybody said around me. I, I'm You're glad happy. that I made my, I made the choice on my own. Yeah, and we do have to address the elephant in the room, mm -hmm. uh, the rumor of the <laughs> impending church marriage. Oh God! Oh, no. oh God! Oh God! Please, let's not even have these. These. Uh, this is all media made. <laughs> See, all media made. All media made. The media is responsible for all of this. What part? The church wedding or journey? <laughs> All media me, <laughs> <laughs> and that's all you're going to say about it. That's all I'm going to say about about it. It's all media me. I guess everybody wants to move on and find, uh, you know, like I said, you know, find love, find companionship, you know, people that they can relate to. And if you do, I think you're just lucky. That's all. It's wonderful. I think if anybody who can do that in their life, I think they're lucky to get another chance at at being happy. Tell me about. Um, the label life part of your life. You know, uh, how how involved are you? Did you always love fashion? Is it something that comes naturally? Yes, I think it's something that is pretty... It's inherent. organic. Yes, it is, it is. And I think when it, when like I said, when they came with me, you know, that came to me with this whole uh, idea in front of them, I was like, Okay, what the hell is online shopping? I do. You I, didn't do it. I've never done it. I'm not somebody who's ever, you know, I was never really online savvy, so to speak. So for me, it was a completely new world. I was like, how do you go about the whole thing? So, so when I kindly really wrap my head around it, I said, this is something that I, that I truly enjoy, something that I love, and uh, and more than anything, when you I see the dedication of the of the team that is that is there which is what is most inspiring and if you see it's all women you know and it yeah. kind of just uh, it just makes you feel feel better feel stronger young minds uh, you know who kind of come together to to put something really beautiful and tangible which i think i'm really happy and proud to be part of and tell me about the instagram stardom uh, is it all you are you doing it is there a team i mean how does it work a lot of people have asked me but it if somebody you know does it for me etc but no i think it's it's all i handle it myself mm -hmm. i whatever it's uh, whatever's out there is pretty much you know things that i want to put out there so barring my work which this but no it's all it's all me and i think in today's day and age there's so much of clout there's so much of visibility on social platforms like this i was just looking at at uh, at kylie jenner and, and she says can you imagine i've never ever advertised for anything right 
ever. Right. She's never. She says, I've never had a campaign. I've never done flyers, hoardings, nothing. Yeah. Everything is on it's amazing. Insta on Instagram. That's yeah. what she does. Yeah. And from that, she's you know built this this empire that she's that she's part of. So I think that's pretty amazing. The power of of what yeah. social media has and what it can do. I think it's pretty phenomenal. And I and I have to say that if used right, the tool if used right, I think uh, we all are just uh, reaping the benefits mm. of it. It can be a huge issue at times, but you need to strike the right balance. And I really think we're in a time and age where you can really, really do a lot with it and yeah. reap the benefits of it. But do you struggle at all, Malaika, with what is private and what is public? Do you struggle with figuring out what is that right balance? Yes, but, that's, but I think that's just a little bit of your own understanding, your own uh, levels of, of being comfortable because, yeah. I mean, tomorrow I can very well be a, a private account. But mm. I mean, it's not really going to serve anybody's purpose. Right. I mean, right. At the end of the day, we are in a business where you have to put yourself out there. Yeah. I'm not going to be apologetic about it. You know, it's not about the number of followers, etc. At the end of the day, we are where we need to be seen. We need to connect. We need to be out there. So if I'm mm. going to be private, like I said, it's... It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. It's useless. So yeah. that's why we are there. And I think it... I think because of... Gone are the days where, where you know, stars were the elusive, you know, ones or you can't, you don't know what's going on. Now you know... Everything. Whether what time they eat, when they go to sleep, when they wake <laughs> yes. up, everything. Yeah, you know, yeah. their, how many hair on the, uh, you know, their dog has lost in the in the day or whatever. They know everything. Right, so that right. that little thing where now your fans feel that they know you. Yeah. It's literally like that. So when yeah. you, even when you meet your fans, they come up and say, hey. Correct. You know, it's like literally. It's like a buddy. It's like they, now they're buddies. Yeah. You know, like they're now they're, they're, they're your friends. So that is a bit... It's a, a, it's a new... It's unnerving, a little bit? It can be a little unnerving because now so many people connect with you, you know, and literally you feel you've never seen this person, you've never met this person, you don't know what this person, you don't even know whether that picture is probably, yeah. you know, uh, an actual picture or is it just a dummy picture. So, but when somebody comes up and, and says, I'm so-and-so, I message you, I'm like, oh, okay, hi, how are you? You know, right, so it is right. sometimes a little unnerving, but I guess uh, there are pros and cons to it. Sometimes you really can connect with somebody sometimes can be a bit of a, of a scare. So yeah. you have to be careful and kind of gauge the situation and, and know where to take it. But when you're constantly sort of, it is a beast that needs to be fed. Yes, right? absolutely. You have to post yeah. every day. You, yeah. have to, you have to kind yeah. of keep it going. Absolutely. Uh, does it ever get like too much? Do you ever want to just be in pajamas and eat ice cream all day? I do that also. <laughs> and I put that also up. <laughs> That is not true. I've of never course seen I a do. picture of you. Okay, I don't. I don't eat ice cream, but I probably have something else. But I'm in my pajamas, in my label like pajamas, lounging around. I think you know. Also, with does it ever become a burden? It's not a burden, like you said. It it's a beast that needs to be fed, and the yeah. minute you back away from it, then you got to be prepared for the for the consequences. Sure, as simple as that. And yeah. But again, I think you can manipulate as much as you want. You know, mm. if you feel you want to put yourself out there 100%, do it. If you feel you want to just be 50%, you it's in your hands mm. at, the, at the end of the day. You've got to be prepared about however. But if they love you, they will keep, right. they'll keep coming back. They'll keep wanting to know. The minute you don't put something, the minute you don't put yourself out there, they keep, you know, what's up, why, mm. you know, why aren't you? So that, that connect is also there. But you can, you know, at the end of the day, you can manage it as much as micromanage right. it as much as you want without feeling that there's no pressure that pressure i don't feel any pressure but yes we are in a business like i said where we need to be seen unless tomorrow i say you know what let's shut shop pack yeah. up i'm hanging my boots up and that that's it and that's a different different yeah. story but yeah. why should we do that i feel today day and age women you know with married women with kids post 40 which was actually considered a, a the, complete the cut off no, date <laughs> yeah. cut off no it is Done and done and dusted done and, and buried. <laughs> That's what it is. But you can actually, you know, yeah. flourish. Yeah. Why not? I think avail of every one of these opportunities that come your way and make yeah. the most of it. Yeah. That's yeah. how I look at it. Yeah. Tell me when so much is about the way you look and 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 um, how glamorous and how sexy you are. How do you make peace with getting older? Does getting older scare you? Like any woman that I know. Right, we're I all mean, scared, of we're course. We're all scared of, yeah, 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 of, for of sure. uh, aging. But huh. uh, I honestly, I've never really thought about it so much or as a hindrance or, oh my God, what am I going to do? I think I'm pretty okay with it. I think, in fact, I think age is the one thing that'll, that puts things into perspective purely because then I know what all I've achieved in life, how far I've come in life. And I think with every passing year, I just know that. So it's fine. I'm okay with, and if I can still 
you know, if I still got it in me 20 years from now, I'm like, you know, fab. I mean, I think I've... Uh, well, that's what uh, you said, no? Looking forward to the next, to the 20, next 20 years. years yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. for me, it's a challenge if you ask me. That's my <laughs> challenge. Oh, my God. Are you going to be like, what, 60 plus and putting out a photo oh like that? <laughs> that's, that I, is I just going to set the bar too high. I think we all... I, I'm quite okay with... with uh, with uh, you know aging gracefully and growing yeah. old and, yeah. and, and, and all of that. And you've never ever, really comfortable I'm about never it. Yeah. ever, in fact, I mean they keep making me far older than I actually am. Uh, to date I've never actually seen but I've never hidden You're my 45. Age. I'm 43. You're 43. Yes, okay. but they keep making me 45 plus huh, which is, huh. I'm fine with it. I'm Correct. like so be it. Right, right. right. I've never ever ever Yeah, you've never age. said really I'm not saying. Me, this yeah. is what it is. I've never hidden you know, the fact that I was married or I've had a child or this is my age or this is what I'm doing. I've never hidden any of it. What's there to hide? Yeah, yeah. this is what it is. Yeah. Every line is seen on your face. There's only that much that you can yeah. that you can hide, you know, behind makeup or, or so-called uh, uh, procedures. But right, uh, right. everything is, yeah. is visible. So I've got yeah. nothing really to hide. I'm, no. quite, I'm quite happy. And I want to see what it is like to, to, to age as well. That's yeah. what I want to yeah. see as well. And Where as I you said, be. you're flourishing. So... Make the most of it. Make look at everybody. Uh, look at all the women. I mean, yeah. uh, you know, the whole, there was a whole lot of like you take whether it was Madhuri, Ju. They were all from a completely different, uh, you know, era yeah. of films, etc. They all moved away. They stopped working. But look at them now today, yeah. looking yeah. better than ever. They do look better. Better look at Anil Kapoor. Look at them. I mean, it's, <laughs> I I really have to you know yeah. you know don my hat and you know say it's fantastic. I think what they do is super. Yeah. Um, after all these years, they look better than ever. They're doing amazing work they're probably doing things that they probably love far more than they right. than they did back back more then because there's, a, there's more freedom there's yeah. a certain sense of passion yeah so why not yeah. yeah super proud of all these amazing women i think it really inspires me every day so what does it inspire to you to do what's next <clears throat> what's next <clears throat> i would be want i want to make sure that we have many more stores yeah. you know for label life for label life like right. this i want to open many more studios of my of diva yoga uh, i want to be able to do uh, you know a lot more open my restaurant and you want to open a restaurant i'd love to do that yeah I, that's something i'd really love to do travel a lot more with my with my son do things with him yeah. uh, learn a new you know hobby with him i think he's at that age so yeah there's a lot but i think the part of me where i'm enjoying being an entrepreneur i think that's something that I hold very close to my heart right now. Films and everything, I think those are all, they all happen and right. you know, that's a constant. Oh, thing. Oh, but yeah. these are the things that I, that's what I'm passionate about. So mm. yeah. I keep saying I've got all the F's in my life, which is <laughs> passion, food and fitness. <laughs> <laughs> We leave it to those leave it that. <laughs> My three favorites. <laughs> okay, and I of course cannot let you go without asking you about one thing you think all women should do. Whether it's fitness or just staying healthy, what is the one thing we all should be doing? The one thing all women should be doing, I think they should just, I think you should just love yourself. I think that's the most important. Uh, we are so, uh, women are so boxed in about, you know, have to be a mother, have to be a daughter, have to be a, the best version, you know. So I think just love yourself. I think everything else just uh, fall, fall into, place. into place. Love yourself and I think that's the most, most important. If you love yourself, then the others will automatically love you more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Malaika. No, and and uh, listen, that restaurant sounds It is. Trust me, it's, on, it's, it's pretty much in the agenda of things. So What kind of food? I'm a home style kind of. Right food person so mm. my my roots of south indian food is very very the malayali the uh, malu part of me is very very strong huh. so that's definitely going to be the the main ingredient nice. <laughs> over there nice. thrown in with a lot of love and a lot of uh, spice and a lot of uh, uh, experience so huh. yes all of it but yeah that's pretty much what we want to do for sure excellent can't wait to see it and gotta try it <laughs> when we are ready <laughs> thank you Thank you. Hi, I'm Malaika Arora and if you like this video, subscribe to Film Companion. <laughs>